One very common thing to do is to assign the same variable to multiple dimensions. So let's have a look at doing that. So I'm going to draw a line here and convert that to a construction. I'm going to add some, or actually I'll add some circles. And I'm going to constrain those circles to be on the line. I'm going to give it one fixed point. And now put some dimensions between the centers of the circles. So since the center of a circle is a point, I'm using this dimension 2. And in order to dimension from the center of the circle, I'm going to use the AccuDraw shortcut C for center. And I'm also going to mention the radius of these circles. Now I'm going to declare two variables. One shall be distance centers, and the second shall be radii. So let's assign those distance centers and then radii. Dimension target and valid are not found. Uh -huh. Once I assigned the first two dimensions, you can see the dimension has wasn't drawn associatively, so it's not linked to the, the circle anymore, so I'm going to have to replace that dimension. I didn't have association on, that was the problem there. Let's try again. So as you can see, I'm, I'm assigning the same variable to multiple dimensions, and that makes them all equal. Let's change the radius to 10. And we can modify and resolve that, and they all move at the same time. And of course, the distance between the circles is the same for both now as well. That can be handy for used for dividing something into equal parts, or div uh, finding a bisector of a line, or finding the center point of a, of a construction, or between two lines, whatever very common used and quite important. Then the last example I'm going to show for now is um, something that I commonly do quite frequently. Maybe it's just my line of work but um, maybe others will need it too. So I'll start off again with no I'll, I'll start off with a circle this time. I'm going to fix it at the center I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to fix those, fix the the circle on the lines on both lines. So constrain point on, and as you can see, when you do that, the circle go the the lines go through the center of the circle. I'm going to add more points at the intersection of those. And now what I want to do is define the distance along the chord, along the arc between those two points. We can't do a dimension for that. We can, in microstation you can add a dimension. If we go to units, we can change our angle format units to length and then place a dimension and the end point. And that gives us the length of the arc between those two points. 
but unfortunately that can't be made into a dimensional constraint so we can't define the length of an arc with directly with constraints I can just show that now I can try and convert that to a constraint dimension cannot be a constraint okay so what we need to do here use an equation the equation for the length of an arc is equal to normally it's, it's defined as s I'll, I'll actually say length of arc is equal to the radius of arc multiplied by the angle subtended then we need to define these declare these variables so length of arc radius of arc and angle subtended okay now we need to get some dimensions for those variables to read from so let's dimension the radius and assign that Let's dimension the angle. And assign that. Now let's assign the whole equation. And now we know the length of our arc is equal to 10.424 below 9. If I turn that into a constant, I can now drive the length of the arc numerically using this parameter. The angle here is 40.968, but we know the length of the arc is 25. And just to prove it, I'll stick a dimension on there again. As you can see, it reads 25. 